what's up guys this is gd cloudy and the latest version of android is here and it's called android 10 not q not any kind of a desert name they've dropped it this year for a cleaner brand which is kind of lame and i kind of miss the desert names but yeah we got a new easter egg which is pretty simple and subtle and interesting pretty neat you know the update is mostly incremental quite underwhelming as i mentioned in my previous developer beta video but everything is now much more polished and let's go ahead and take a look at all of those number one feature is dark mode we finally now have a working system-wide dark theme so toggling it on will not just turn on the menus and quick settings dark but also all of the supported dark theme apps which includes the settings app phone dialer messages google photos mostly google stuff even chrome and finally finally the boot animation is fully dark in color so you won't have to hurt your eyes anymore well dark mode is great because it looks cool but moreover since all the pixel phones are amoled screens it really helps in saving the battery and looks really really clutch feature number two gesture navigation so in line with everybody else google has finally now implemented gesture nav in aosp itself and the nav bar is gone so here's how it works swipe up to go home swipe up and hold for multitasking and if you want to go back just swipe left just swipe left to the screen that's it but yeah this gesture nav has really improved from the previous builds the animations are really nice and feel much more responsive just like ios so yeah even on this og pixel it's a really nice addition should be great for phones without the chin and honestly those are the only two major headlining features of android 10 rest all are just small features mostly ui changes just sort of tucked in spread throughout the system and you just discover it and it feels kind of refreshing. Notifications are now categorized into silent notifications which you can now bat swipe. Also swiping left and right to dispatch the notification works and for the notification setting you need to hold it and it presents you with a setting adjustment with a new UI. Privacy has a new tab in settings which also gives you control over advertising ID which is super neat. The Android system share sheet is now much faster and too has a new UI. Digital well-being also has a bunch of new features which don't show up for me honestly and I couldn't care less. Uh, music controls have a new UI, location permissions have a new iOS like pop-up UI with one-time allowance. Unlocking the phone also has a new UI kind of like a face unlock thing so maybe yeah Pixel 4 but yeah that's Android 10 basically. The gist of it is that it's mostly catching up and cleaning up as part of the Google brand. You can tell how most UI redesigns are reminiscent of the card-based UI in Google's web design and it's in its own app. So yeah, they're rearranging some stuff, consolidating it and putting it out there. Sure, it's underwhelming in terms of features, but it finally feels like Google has completed and finished Android as a product with the name, the brand and everything. Like a culmination of all previous versions leading to this version 10. And running on this old OG Pixel, well, the performance has been pretty good, actually, coming from the Redmi Note 7 Pro, which is, you know, like a mid-tier device, this phone really holds up. It's certainly a tad more responsive than the Redmi Note 7 Pro running Pi, and the camera performance is excellent. The only thing which has not improved at all, and I won't expect it to, is the battery life. I still get around two, two and a half hours of screen on time max and it just dies and I have to charge it three times a day almost. Android 10 doesn't really fix any of the optimization or battery issues uh, we've had with the Pixel. Uh, so I don't think it's coming back into my pocket again. But yeah, for something which was supposed to be outdated last year itself, now it's gotten by, which is supposed to be its last software update. And yeah, seems like a pretty noble ending for this OG Pixel. Um, I'm really, really gonna miss this phone. So yeah, that's basically it. That was Android 10 all in all. And it seems like a pretty well-rounded update. I really dig it. Can't wait for it to hit more phones. Can't wait for the Android 10 ROMs so that I can load it up on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. And yeah, for an Android release which doesn't have a sweet name, it turns out to be pretty sweet. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.